trials. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new show. Uh, the first episode of a new show, Tip Trials, this is called. Um, and it's basically a show where I attempt certain challenges or trials that have been submitted by you guys. That was a hint to do it in the comments below. Or indeed, I've thought up myself or I've seen other people do. This first one is going to be 20 thumbnails in two minutes. And they're going to be UI, user interface thumbnails. I've given myself 20 prompts here about certain things, like a home page, a login page, a disclaimer page, a gallery page, that sort of thing. And I've given myself two minutes to do 20 thumbnails. So we're going to give it a go. And if I don't quite make it, then I don't know what's going to happen. I'll probably, I'll probably give up youtube and just go and cry in a corner okay so here we go just going to set up my workspace here uh left-handed so just checking that you can still see everything my awkward left-handedness is going to be a hindrance here okay you guys ready three two 20 thumbnails in two minutes one go uh. Okay, so a homepage. Uh, homepage is a login, that's fine. You're just going to need uh, some kind of uh, information at the top here, like so, um, with perhaps a large title like this and a subheading, and then some brief information about the page itself. Okay, uh, and maybe obviously a URL search bar along the top there. Cool, about page. About page is going to have a large title, probably left aligned, like so. Um, it's going to have like this, and then maybe it's going to have a little bit of a brief introduction like that um, followed by various meet the team informations like so okay good uh, a login page that one's nice and simple you're going to want a big old login button down on the bottom uh, and you're going to want a not so big um, cancel out button there and you're going to want fields for the information that you need like a username and password for example and then you're probably going to have a logo of some kind along the top here like so that might be a bit large actually oh god i've only got a minute left um search okay search is nice and easy uh nice little search bar icon like this with a list of implementations going down the bottom okay uh number five video that's easy that's just youtube you need a video along the top here like so with perhaps a title of information uh, and then a drop down with more comments and things. Um, gallery, gallery is really easy. You want a full page image <laughs> with left and right buttons. That's left, that's right. Um, portfolio, portfolio is just as good. You're gonna grab different buttons that lead to different sections of your website. That one's gonna be for video. This one's gonna be for images. This one's gonna be for animations. Um, and then you're going to want a link to have more down the left as well. Um, okay, audio, that's fine as well. You're going to need an audio spike like this as well, as well as a name of the track and also some subheadings and some information along the bottom there. That's good. Okay, oh, for goodness sake. I did nine. Nine. I did eight. I didn't even do nine. I did, I did eight. Eight items. I clipped the microphone also, I'm very sorry. I got very excited there. You can see the steady <laughs> the steady decline in quality as I as I move along as well. Um oh, that was a fail. Tip tip trials episode one, fail. Put it on the screen. Wow. Okay, well let's take our time with the rest of these then and actually explore a little bit about what thumbnails are for. Um so <laughs> Generally, a thumbnail is a good way of getting a basic idea of what information you uh, is essential to having on the screen. Like, for example, with a login page, you're going to need an area for a username and password as well as a login and also a back or forgotten password button, that sort of thing. Doing thumbnails helps you really condense that inf information down into its core elements. Like, for example, I don't know, number nine here, let's take a food item. You're probably going to need an image of whatever food item it is as well as a large title explaining what that food item is. Uh, perhaps a subheading with certain different um, nutritional information, core, core sort of information like that. Then you're probably also going to need just a series of things like amount of protein, amount of fat, other bits of different information like that. Yeah, okay. <coughs> um... A shopping, 
a shopping cart, for example, that's going to need a list of items that you've put in the cart with certain information on it. So that'll be like so. It's also going to need probably, whether this is an actual separator or not, it's probably going to need a list of prices as well as then a total and a large pay now button or payment options button as well as probably quite a large actual full total there as well like so you're also going to need buttons for like removing items and things like that but in a thumbnail that's probably too much information you really just want to get the gist and what thumbnails help you do is help you with the layout of pages the layout of information that's the important stuff Analytics, for example, you're probably going to want on a layout like this, uh, most of the page to be taken up by whatever information it is that you're displaying. Yeah, whether that's different line charts or bar charts or whatever. Um, as well as then a key of what that information represents. Yeah, so this number one is this information. Number two is that information. Number three is that information. Okay. Um, so thumbnails aren't supposed to be stupidly detailed. They're supposed to be sort of the, the, the core elements of what you need in your design. Um, an account, for example, is probably going to have some kind of sidebar with a login and then different sections for each of your uh, things you need in an account, like um, like perhaps payment settings, um, name, details, that sort of thing. Each one of those pages you don't have to draw, but you could probably do, you're going to need some kind of profile picture of some kind, as well as an immediate username. And then there's going to be little boxes and things for like, please enter your age here. Okay. And then please give a brief description about yourself. Yeah. Depending of course on what the account is for, uh, different tabs are going to have different information. Uh, a blog post, for example, that's going to be quite an easy one. You can just copy Tumblr for that, where it's going to have some kind of heading with some kind of image along the top here, and then a massive old title, and then a series of text. Simple as that. Now, it's important to keep your um, thumbnails as neat as possible. Obviously, you can see the decline in quality as mine was going along there, um, but make sure to close your boxes, you know, like this, for example, is quite terrible because your image, you know, a uh, box with a cross through it represents an image, but the corners don't match up and stuff and it's not neat. Um, part of that is because I'm trying to work around all the microphones and things I've got set up here, but part of it is also because I'm rubbish. Um, opening a loot box, for example, claiming a prize in some rubbish clicky mobile game. For that, you're going to want a big old button, probably with some kind of animation on it, some kind of big glowing effect. And then also you're going to need whatever it is that you're opening up. Yeah. So like this, you're going to want on here, basically lots of fanfare, lots of big glowing lights, and then a big old claim button like so. And then maybe like a, a, a button to buy more. Yeah. So that sort of information is all about the glamour of it. Uh, a disclaimer then that's going to be a pop-up of some kind. So that's going to have a floating window. And to imply floating windows, you can do a little bit of a dashed line along the bottom. You're going to need a large um, title here. There's probably going to be an inner window that has a scroll bar because there's always tons and tons of information in these things. Um, as well as what I haven't done here is leave room for an accept button or proceed. Um, that will probably be at the bottom like so. Okay. So that's a good one for a disclaimer. Um, a list view, like a list of different items that you've got. So that's going to require a title for the list. Probably again, going to be in a floating window. And then small check boxes with perhaps indentations if they're grouped. Okay. And some which you've crossed out like so. Yeah. So different elements require different things. Okay. That's a nice list view there. It's very hard to draw around these things. I'm going to have to think of a different setup for if I do this in the future. Uh, a map, a go-to one. That was easy. You're going to want that to be full screen. It's obviously going to be, the design is going to be dependent on whatever streets and stuff you've got on screen, but that's okay. Um, you're going to want a large marker for where they are, as well as some indication of direction. So whether that's a large marker with some kind of arrow pointing. And then a highlighted route, obviously, as well. Now, that's easier to depict in color, but you can sort of represent color with thicker lines or thinner lines when you're doing thumbnails. 
<coughs> You're also going to want some kind of side or bottom bar that actually has written information of what to do, just in case people are very dumb, which they usually are. Uh, turn left at the next blah, 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 that sort of thing. Of course, you're also going to want a little floating menu that might open up into where you've put your directions. Um, Google Maps has pretty much got that 100% perfect. So, um, Voice. I don't know what that one was supposed to be. Perhaps it was supposed to be like a voice command thing. So that would be a big button along the bottom, roughly where the home button is, because that's where your thumb naturally rests, with a microphone symbol on it. And then some kind of chat bot that you can talk to okay so that's going to be something like this and it gives you different advice and then there's going to be some kind of thing because of gdpr that says we collect all your information we can hear everything you're saying we're terrible people yep um a stopwatch then <laughs> ironically <coughs> <coughs> A stopwatch one is going to be quite simple. Um, well, we might as well just copy the one that we've seen, but let's try not to do it. Uh, you're going to want some kind of thing with a countdown. Usually that's going to be, these days, a single colored line um, that sort of navigates around a circle until it hits the point with some kind of readout for time remaining. Uh, probably in little milliseconds as well. You're also going to need a reset button and a pause button probably as well as settings for other different variations of the stopwatch along the top. That's quite a simple one. And a payment method of some kind. So this is going to be, I don't know, how much do you want to donate? So there's going to be a representation of, of some kind of monetary amount, whether that's a stack of coins or whatever. And perhaps there'll be a slider, like so that the user can slide from zero all the way up to the maximum amount and then a big old accept button down in the middle with a big tick on it for conf confirmation. You're then obviously going to need a series of back buttons, payment methods, etc., things like that. So that took a little bit more than two minutes, um, but that's okay. That's what this sort of thing is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Tip Trials. Uh, hopefully it was useful as well as entertaining. I'm trying to make these um, actually useful rather than just filler content that you see on lots of channels. Um, if you didn't know, that's okay. Let me know uh, if you sort of like this sort of thing, if you want to see more. If you have any ideas for challenges, let me know. Some of the ideas I've had are things like designing only in black and white, uh, designing only with sort of limited colors, like three colors. Um, the these sort of challenges you know x designs in x amount of time that sort of thing um let me know i'm not sure what to do with this series whether it's going to be long short one episode and then forgotten i don't know hopefully you enjoy it though and hopefully i'll see you next time on the next episode of tip trials remember to subscribe for more tips tricks and tutorials thanks for watching